Welcome to Dreamland, a kingdom famous for peace and quiet. It's the perfect little land, if you like that sort of thing. Lately there have been rumors of a caped sorcerer going around, turning people into yarn. That's right, yarn. One day, Kirby saw his favorite food, a bright red tomato on top of a bush. I bet it's yummy, but when Kirby tried to eat it, a caped sorcerer appeared. My name is... Hey, what are you doing? Stop that! No! That's my magic metamato! Kirby gulped the metamato right down. Just then, a white sock around the sorcerer's neck began to glow. Then it sucked Kirby up. This grass feels funny, Kirby thought. It feels like trousers. And to Kirby's surprise, he saw that his entire body was made out of yarn. Then he saw a yarn monster chasing a blue yarn boy. Somebody help me! Kirby tried to swallow the monster up. But the air went right through his body. Kirby wondered what he should do. Suddenly, Kirby transformed into a car. He drove away with the boy and left the monster behind to eat his dust. Apparently, that strange metamato gave Kirby the power to seamlessly transform into a car and who knows what else.
Thanks for your help, the blue yarn boy said. Not that I needed it. I'm Prince Fluff. Ever since Yin Yarn the Sorcerer ripped Patchland into seven pieces, you just can't go anywhere without running into these horrible... But Fluff was interrupted when they were attacked by a huge three-eyed blob of yarn. Ugh, yuck! Stop it! But before the blob could eat Prince Fluff, Kirby transformed and smashed it to smithereens in a most spectacular fashion. Among the little blob bits, there was a shimmering piece of spiraling yarn. That's it, that's a piece of the magic yarn, Fluff exclaimed. This was what Prince Fluff had been looking for. Yin Yarn had stolen the magic yarn from Patchland. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. What about the other pieces? I've got to find the rest of them. Kirby, always happy to help, decided to help his friend recover the missing pieces, and the two began their journey to stitch patchland back together.
We did it. We got a piece of the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. Grumble, grumble. Kirby's tummy was rumbling, so he went searching for food. Too bad there aren't any tomatoes up here, he thought. Suddenly, the tree started rocking back and forth. Kirby thought it was an earthquake until he saw Prince Fluff shaking the tree. This is how we get food in patchland. Kirby tried to hang on for as long as he could, which wasn't very long at all. Look at all that, Fluff cried. Kirby was so angry that he ran after Fluff. He chased him for so long that he forgot all about being hungry.
We did it! We got a piece of the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. Meanwhile, back in Dreamland. The Waddledees were very busy inside Castle DDD. Faster! Keep going! No lounging around! barked King DDD. Just then, the King noticed that one of his Waddledees looked a little. Uh, <laughs> strange. That Waddledee was actually one of Yin Yan's creations. Yeah! <laughs> Soon Dreamland will be wrapped around my knitting needles, Yin Yan cackled. What sort of plan was he stringing together?
We did it. We got a piece of the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. Kirby and Fluff came upon a cake the size of a mountain. It was breathtaking. Kirby tried to contain himself, but failed. He dived right in and started gobbling up the cake. I declare a cake-eating duel. And with that, Prince Fluff jumped into the cake as well. The two ate and ate and ate, but they didn't balance their eating very well. Oh, no! And before they could get down, the cake collapsed with them inside it. I can't eat another bite, Prince Fluff groaned as he rubbed his cake-filled belly. But then, Kirby appeared with a huge cherry in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Kirby won the contest, and a looming tummy ache as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
We did it. We got a piece of the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. Back in Dreamland, it was total chaos over at Castle DDD. What is going on here? It appeared that Yin Yang's Waddle Dee imposters had captured all of the real Waddle Dees. You can't be mean to my Waddle Dees. Only I can be mean to my Waddle Dees. That was when Yin Yang's troops decided to show King DDD who was boss. Hey, that trickles. Okay, that hurts. Stop, I give up. And in no time they had King DDD wrapped up like a birthday present. <laughs> Only one more step and Dreamland will be mine. What an honor it is to have a king serving me. Yin Yan's sock began to glow. And then it sucked King DDD right inside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dreamland will be mine. Not sure what I'll do with it, but I'll figure something out. Could no one stop Yin Yang from tearing apart the very fabric of Dreamland? Thank <laughs> you. 
We did it. We got a piece of the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. Meanwhile, in the sky above Dreamland. On the battleship Halberd, Meta Knight had noticed some odd changes in the landscape. Patches and stitching everywhere. What monster would do such a thing? Just then, a powerful laugh filled the sky around him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Who goes there? Yin Yang crashed onto the deck and completely ambushed Meta Knight. Mind if I sock it to you? And just like that, Meta Knight was gone. Now Yin Yan had Dreamland all to himself. <laughs> With Yin Yan's victory all sewn up, did this mean the end of Dreamland?
We did it! We got a piece of the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. And Patchland was stitched back together thanks to Kirby and Prince Fluff. Thanks, Kirby. I couldn't have done it without your help. Kirby and Prince Fluff jumped for joy, but their celebration was cut short when Meta Knight awoke. Kirby, forgive me. I blame the yarn. Meta Knight explained to Kirby that Yin Yarn was taking over Dreamland. This upset Kirby immensely. He had no idea how to get back to Dreamland. I've got it, Fluff declared. Prince Fluff pulled out a sock, just like the one Yin Yarn had stolen from Patch Castle. Socks always come in pairs. And now that Patchland was stitched back together, the other sock's magic had been restored. Be careful, Kirby. Yin Yarn is one mean piece of string. He'll be fine. After all, I'm going with him, Fluff said. And they all set out for Dreamland to button up Yin Yarn's story once and for all.
With Yin Yan's spell broken, Dreamland returned to its normal state of peace and quiet. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Fluff said. It made Kirby sad to see his new friend leave. Buck up, Kirby. As long as you have this magic sock, you can visit me anytime. Until then, Fluff said as he returned to Patchland. And that's the story of how Kirby and Prince Fluff defeated Yin Yarn the Sorcerer and restored peace to Dreamland.